Good morning, it's George with Watchmen. We're here with Prada and her puppies. These puppies will be two weeks on Sunday. Uh, they're doing good, they're very chunky. They get a lot of individual attention from Prada. She just got the five puppies, so they get plenty of milk and plenty of fussing. Right now they're in a milk coma, we call it. We breeders. They drink the milk, 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 and then they rest and grow and get up and do it again. And so these puppies are pretty big. And so one of them uh, standing up and moving a little bit, which for under two weeks, that's pretty good. And so there's two males here and three females. And uh, yeah, very thankful uh, for the health and progress with these puppies and with Prada too. With Prada too. Good girl. Good girl. I will go take a look at Kelly's pups, give an update with them. Da -da. Where are you going, Prada? She wants to go outside, I'm sure. Uh, oh my! All right, so. See how Kelly is doing with her puppies. Hello, Kelly. Yes, so Kelly's puppies are ten in number, two males and eight females, and they're doing good. They're just a few days younger than Prada's litter, so on Tuesday uh, they'll be two weeks. So they're basically a week. A week and three days, uh, technically. So, uh, they're holding their own, too. Thank the Lord. They're nice and chunky. And Kelly's a great mom. So you get some of them sleeping and some of them nursing. Very active litter. Uh, so, good girl, Kelly. Kelly. Huh? Too busy watching. All right, let's take a look at Alma's litter. They are, this litter is just over a month. Oh, they're playing. I go in here with these guys. Come, come, Alma. Yeah, they get them. Oh, you guys, what are you doing? Oh. Yeah, these guys are four going on five weeks. And man, this is a cute stage. They're like real living creatures here, biting and playing. And it's really a fun stage. They're little mini, mini creatures. Got your little puppies. Yeah, I started giving these guys uh, food there in the bowl and water. Uh, they still nurse off of Alma, but. Uh, we're getting them transitioned. Next week, uh, I'm going to totally take them off Alma, but I will keep them apart a little more, and they'll get a little more used to eating and drinking from the bowl and not depending on mom. Look at them, they're sweet. Yeah, they're sweet puppies. Yeah, we got a fuzzy guy here, by the way. This guy's fuzzy. He's big, too. He's got a big head on him. And so, dear, very sweet, very sweet. And guess who else is? The mom. What are you doing, Oma? Hello. Good girl. All right, you guys. Yeah, they're very affectionate. They're very confident. I spend time with them. And that's what it takes when you get a puppy and bring it home. Guess what? Puppy wants your attention. Don't neglect it. Minimum stuff there, training and time. Spent with the, uh, with the puppies and adult dogs. Get, get. Come on, Oma. Come, come. Good girl. And this little guy. We got this little guy here. This guy was uh, sold, and the customer had a 
delay in a, in a house closing there and the current home they they couldn't have a dog and then alongside that he had a yeast infection in his ear so i wanted to get that cleared up uh, which i pretty well have it under control sit good boy and he's like my shadow, this guy. I take him outside wherever I go, put out the garbage, uh, do whatever with the other dogs back and forth. And my shadow is right with me. Good boy, sit. Good boy. His ears are uh, doing their best to get up there. He has some nice ears and it's a beautiful face and structure. His mom is Gloria. And his dad is a dog over in Europe, Zoltan, great dog too. And the pedigree, uh, Gloria's dad is the number one dog in the world. Um, and Zoltan's pedigree is pretty serious as well. And so it's not surprising that you get a great puppy. And all dogs are great, I get that mutts and everything else, right? And so. Not discriminating uh, against any other dog, but appreciating the, re the refined uh, effects of dogs that are bred where they keep, seek to improve the breed and to keep bad traits out of the line, harmful traits, hip and elbow dysplasia, degenerative myelopathy, and uh, things like that, and a well-tempered dog. And so those things uh, don't just happen. You have to discriminate in your breeding program. So uh, that's just how that is. And if that's for you, fine. If it's not for you, well, that's fine too. Uh, but that's what I'm doing. And that's what a lot of people are doing. And that's why there are so many breeds, because they're bred for particular purposes and to perform different things. Uh, German Shepherd, obviously, a shepherding dog. And, there's working class dogs and there's um, terrier group dogs that were bred to get varmint out of the houses and the old castles and back in the day, the rats and mice and uh, the little terriers would get in the corners and uh, behind things and uh, put a quick end to that type of stuff there. So sporting dogs and so there's different groups and they perform different things for men and hey thank god that's a great thing but here we are with our little guy and uh he's about 14 weeks old he is available if anyone's interested get in touch with me uh, my website watchmangsd.com of course the youtube channel you can message me i'm on facebook and i would love to get this little guy at home and so I leave you with that. Meanwhile, the Lord bless you as you trust Him. It's Friday. Uh, the weekend's upon us. I encourage everyone to uh, visit the Lord's house, find the faithful church. They're not all faithful. Not all Bible translations are faithful, and uh, that's the way it is. Uh, just because there's counterfeit doesn't mean that there's not the genuine thing. God is building His church. There are faithful preachers. There's no perfect preachers. Only Christ is perfect. Uh, but he does have his ministers, and uh, you need to know all about that. And so God sets aside one day in seven, the Lord's Day, we call it, or Sunday, in our Greco-Roman uh, calendar system we got going on. And don't neglect the Lord's blessing in going to his house, sitting under the word. And of course, every day, read your Bible and walk with the Lord. And uh, that's most important. There is nothing else that compares. And so I'll leave you with that. The Lord bless you. And uh, thanks for your participation in the channel here. And have a great day. Come, come. Good boy. Sit. Do you good boy. Take care.